surrounded by flames at a local gas station. Now a search underway tonight for that man who allegedly set the fire on purpose. CBS 13's Yasmin Hassan is live with the employees who say they watched him do it, Yasmin. Steve, just to give you an idea of how dangerous this was, this happened just a few feet away from one of the busiest intersections in town, and those employees tell us that this guy walked up with a fuel tank, doused this entire area with gasoline, then lit a match and watched it burn. I'm looking down, and when I look up, there's a huge fire. Investigators say this man standing in the middle of the fire is the one who started it. Employees say he was acting strangely from the second he walked on property. He was screaming from the top of his lugs, just cussing as much as he can. They say he had a plastic fuel tank, but no car in sight. I gave him three dollars for gas, and then I guess what he did is he stuck it in, and then made sure there was gas all over the place, and then he lit his match on fire and set everything off. Employees stepped up right away. One started evacuating the station. The other grabbed a fire extinguisher. Thankfully, firefighters happened to be in the area, saw the smoke and took over. They say this was just minutes away from being catastrophic. With the multiple pumps, multiple tanks that are underground, uh, multiple vehicles, lots of people, super busy intersection. I think this is one of the second busiest intersections in the, in the county. Uh, there could have been lots of injuries, lots of danger, lots of damage. One person who may have been hurt is the guy in the middle of the fire, but apparently he wasn't in any hurry to get away. It seemed like he caught himself a little bit. He put it out because he had his hands up. But then he started walking away slowly and watched the rest of it. Now investigators are trying to find this man and figure out why he did this. People who start fires are, you know, they have lots of motives, lots of reasons for doing it. But until we actually have a chance to talk to him, we won't know what his true intentions were. Until that happens, all people can do is speculate. And some think the simplest explanation might be the right one. The desire to just watch something burn. Now here's another look at the damage. Employees say that it's going to take days for them to clean this up and have this pump back up and running. Definitely a scary scene, Yasmin Hassan, live in Sacramento County tonight. Thanks for that, Yasmin.